All right. So now we are going to be talking about cropping. Now, cropping has to do with the removal of a portion of an image. Now, to create a focus. So let's say you want to, you know, work on just one particular part of an image or a portion of it. You can use a crop tool. Now, um, unlike the selection tool where once you make your selection, you can copy it out to a new layer or cut it out to a new layer with everything else still retained. In the crop tool, once you make your selection, everything else is discarded and removed. Now, only the selected portion is retained. And to illustrate this, there are two methods we're going to use. We're going to use the crop command and the crop tool. So, first I would like to apologize to those of you at home, you know, who thought we're going into agriculture right now, you know, how to make quick money through agriculture. I'm sorry, this is still Photoshop basic training. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. All right. So first of all, we're going to be illustrating how to make use of the crop command to crop an image. So as you can see, we already have an image in our active image area. So you can import whatever image you want to use. And then we'll come here to our tool palette and select our rectangular tool. Or if you want to make use of the elliptical tool, your choice. So we'll just make our selection here, drag it out. Just adjust. Okay, now to crop our image, we'll come up to the menu bar, select image, and then we make use of a crop. And once you click it, now you can see that everything else has been removed. So, like we said earlier, compared to the selection where everything else will be retained until you cut it out to a new layer or copy it out to a new layer, everything else is just discarded and only the selected area is retained. So you can either, you know, if you maybe you have an image and you just want to cut out the head for a passport photograph, you know, you can use this. And that is how you use the crop command. Or you can use the crop tool that is found here. So we're just going to illustrate that very quickly. Now, once you have your image, you come to the tool palette and then you select the crop tool. This is the icon, and then when you select it, as you can see that you have options up here, different settings in the, on the option bar. So once you click on the space, you can drag over the portion of the image that you want to crop, and then you let it go. Now you can see, with the crop tool, you have more um, flexibility. You can make adjustments, you know, you can expand you can make this wider to increase the region that you want to crop compared to the selection tool that you just select and then you just apply the command. So you can just, you know, maybe you just want to capture this portion here. There you go. As you can see, only the selected portion is brightened. Everything else is dulled out. And then if you come up here to the settings on the option, um, bar, you can see some certain things you can, you know, change. You have the shield color. Now the shield color controls the color around the area not selected. So you can just shut that off, you know. But then again, it might be quite difficult for you to see, you know, your selected image. So you can turn this back on. You can change the color. If you don't like black, you can change it to, uh, let's see, you can make it a green or blue, you know, depending on your taste, you can just take it back to black. Or you can reduce the opacity. So if you want everything to just go all black, or you can just lighten it up a bit, take it down, or you can take it to zero and just make everything visible. So we just take this back to 75. There we go. And then you can just click right click on the pot on the image and then left click on crop and easy as that everything else is discarded and only the selected portion is retained so like I said earlier if you have an image maybe you just want to take the head or take the arm of the bag with money inside hmm 
All right, guys, that's an idea there. Anyway, so if you just want to select a portion of an image and work on only that one, you can use the crop tool. So let's see what else can we do. You can just create a new layer, bring this beneath. And as you can see, when we created a new layer, it created a new layer with the size of our crop image, not something bigger. So as you can see, everything corresponds in the layer palette on layer palette. Okay, so that's how you make use of the selection tool and the crop tool in Photoshop. Feel free to experiment and come up with beautiful um, results or designs of your choice. These have been Photoshop basic training brought to you by 7tutors.com. Join us now next year. Bye-bye.